Yes, uh, depending on what your name is, and then right now we're just considering a name. Mm -hmm. You, for example, like um, Usaf, is a, is a name that, uh, or, 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 or um, Rudolph or something, uh, uh, that kind of taste power. Uh, do not, you know, has a, has a ooh sound, mm -hmm. kind of taste power also. If I name do not, means power and all those things. And, um, and uh, people who seek power, and who seek to, seek to be in charge. Um, with a letter um, 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 of the alphabet, it, remember in Hindus we name the child a, a, a certain name, and that name is supposed to have karma. Today we don't name our child those names. We, don't we name them different names, anymore. right? And the names do have an effect on your life. Think of all the friends that you have when I see those letters that you find. It has an effect. What about date of birth? Because I know if you're going to a pandita, and the first, those are some of the things, the name, uh, the book name of the child they would ask you, and the date of birth of the child. Why is the date of birth so important? Well, date of birth um, is so important because remember the sun and the moon makes the day. The sun makes the day and the, and the moon makes the month. So it's like a grid form. You know, you have um, a graph of the day and the month, and it comes into what you call coordinate. So every date, birth date is important. For example, um, what's your birth date, for example? I'm March the 4th. March 4th tells me you're a person who think a lot. You're born under Lord Shiva, and you think a lot, and your mind is always running a thousand miles an hour. You like to analyze things. You like to check things. People think you're not listening, but you are. You, you, you're more familiar. You're, you, you hear everything that's going on. And um, this last two years has been a little bit uh, tough a little bit of a, um, of a, of a struggle, but uh, you've just started a new cycle at least, and you're going to be um, uh, going upward in this cycle. Uh, really? This year marks a very important year for you, because you are going to make a lot of strides in this year. Um, just like that, she just sits yeah. here and you, you can tell yeah, me Yeah, because your things. birth date can tell me what day or date you are. Right now, all the Shiva people are going to go through a beginning period, a cycle period. Um, so your birth date is, uh, is, is really, um, important to you. In Hinduism, each one has a, what you call an Isht Devata, and that Isht Devata that represents your birthday. Remember, I have a Jyotishi, you know, Jyotishi is can a person you, who enlightens you. I don't mean to cut in, but can you choose your Isht, if you, you said I'm born under Lord Shiva, but um, I have, uh, don't have him as my Isht Devata. I pray to somebody else. What other what deity that, do you pray to? His son. Uh, Ganesh. That's right. Well, listen, um, if you want to get to the Father through the Son, nothing wrong with that. But, um, but you'll find that uh, um, because you pray to the Son, you almost um, um, feel the experience of the Son. First of all, you have to know what the Son means. Ganesh means remove of obstacles. Now, you're a person very hard for people to tell you uh, to stop what you're doing. You will not stop what you're doing. Once you believe in it, you'll, you'll, you'll do it. Well, that's Ganesh. Ganesh was such a strong uh, um, um, deity that it makes it creates determination in person. Okay. So I can see why you pray to um, uh, Ganesha. But, but again, remember Shiva um, was his father of Ganesha, so uh, that, that still leads you to, to Shiva. But the question is, I mean, if, if you're born on the a particular Lord and you pray to somebody else, does that affect you? No, because um, uh, um, your question in, tells me that you don't understand some of these uh, deities, but um, remember I said Vishnu is uh, space, Lakshmi is light. Without light and space you can't have reality which is Lakshmi and Orion. Remember the, uh, Saraswati is knowledge and she's married to Brahma. Without knowledge you can't create and therefore Brahma has four heads and therefore you can see in all directions um, when you have a lot of knowledge. And then you have uh, Durga, Durga is really female, she sits on the tiger. You know, and, and, and who do you think, who you think the female have to calm all the time when he behaves like a tiger? And that's the male. And then and, and, and the purpose of the female is to calm the male, or calm, the, calm the ego of the male. Peacemaker. And how many hands you need to calm the, the male? You have to have many hands, many forms. You, you have to have, you have to be a cook, you have to be a dishwasher, a maid, a, dish, a babysitter, a lover, a mother. And if we have nine forms of Durga, which represents the nine functions of a woman that makes a woman complete. Mm -hmm. So these are all symbolisms again. So again, when you say that, uh, well, why, uh, what would happen if I pray to a different deity? Remember, a car never breaks down in the same place every year. So this is the problem we have with pujas. For example, you'll find the pundit telling you, well, you know, you've you got to do this puja every year. Well, you know, if I'm a smart pundit, I will tell 365 people the same thing. And so I'm guaranteed a job.